If you must try out your powers of seduction, then what do you say about using them on the rat killer? Oh, goodbye, miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. That was a very awkward conversation from Holmes. Let's go to the high security area, Holmes. Oh, did I already get the pass? Oh, I did, okay. Da, 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 da. All right, let's get out of here. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Let's leave. But no, he made that really awkward really fast. Is this the high security area? High security level, yep. Alright, uh, do I talk to you? Oh, come on. I, I, no, I don't want to talk to you. You are not my problem right now. Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. I can't help you. Oh, alright. Well, not you. You're useless. Let's leave. Is there a way to close. open? It's closed. What? What? Oh wait, wait. Yep. All right. <coughs> this oh, is it. You got a pass for the high security area. It's the door at the end. Go ahead. Uh, do I go this through this door? Leads. Oh, nope. Probably gotta go through their office. Derp. Alright, so. Now we gotta go talk to the poison guy. My name is Peter James, Chief, Chief Warden, Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. Uh. I imagine I will find Hans Schielman behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this yep. the only access? Yes, there was a second door at the end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Uh, Thank you, Chief Warden. At your service. If you require further information, Warden Mackenzie will help you. He's at his post in the basement. Yeah, because I'm gonna know. I'm gonna need to know where the hell he is. Tell me about the prisoners, Warden James. Let's get all the we information. We only have a few. As you might be aware, the days of this place are numbered. Therefore, we no longer receive new prisoners. Those who are already here are among the most dangerous in London. We have three at the moment. Hans the Rat Killer and the Flint Brothers. The Flint Brothers? Huh. Yes, two rather simple-minded maniacs who detest one another despite their relation. They massacred their parents and decapitated their neighbors. It oh. took more than nine policemen to overpower them. Oh, shit. Mr. Holmes, I am a huge admirer of yours. I have followed all your cases and successes with the greatest interest. What enthusiasm. Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Have I thought about it? It's my dream. And I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying hard for the examination to get into police school. That's a whip. Huh. See you later, Mr. Holmes. Uh, see you later, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes is... This device must... Oh, what? Why do I need to know about the alarm? Wait a second. Wait a second. Here's the famous high security area. Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. Good morning, Warden. I have a pass which allows me to speak with prisoner Hans. Very well. So. It is the cell at the end to your left. I'd advise you to walk in the middle of the corridor. I'll do what I want. I'll walk down left and right. Watch this. See? I'm not scared of these guys. I'm gonna kill my brother. But before that, I'm gonna make him eat his own eyes. Just for a laugh. <laughs> Alright, I am gonna... You know what? That was a lot darker than I was expecting. I'm just gonna walk away from that. Talk to this guy who's eating stuff. Hans off the Schielman, tree. I require some information from you. 
So, who do we have here? The celebrated he sounds Sherlock like a rat. Holmes himself. Do you know that for all the time I have spent rotting in here, you are my first and only visitor? I think this is cause for celebration. A confrontation between two geniuses, two extraordinary minds. Oh, God. I am afraid that you are not quite as great a chemist as you believe you are, Mr. Shieldman. I will not say that you never were. No, it was certainly true once. But you see, while you are whiling away your days in here, it appears that someone on the outside is at the point of surpassing you, if that is not already the case. Oh. Yes, I heard about that. A chemical poison that eats away at the flesh and provokes hysteria. I recognize talent when I see it, but it's only a matter of time before I win back my laurels, believe me. Well, what can you tell me? You're going to be in here that forever. That depends on what you can bring to me. I have information. I mean... What do you want? <laughs> do you know why I am treated so harshly? For my meals, I am given nothing but a hunk of bread. And even then, not just any sort. The... Get to the point. Never interrupt me! <laughs> Did he just, like, I. bounce off his bed oh, at yes. us? Holy the crap. Bread. Did you know that with a little rye yeast, a pinch of moss, certain cockroach secretions, just enough light and damp with a few other ingredients that I will keep quiet about, I succeeded in poisoning half the staff here. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little something was omitted, which would have made the results fatal. Instead, it merely caused acute attacks of stress and powerful hallucinations. Jesus Christ. Even so, I got a great that. laugh out of watching them cry like babies when they saw their most primitive fears materializing before them. <laughs> He's weaponizing bread. I didn't know you could do that. You are a monster, Mr. Shieldman. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. But of course it was! You others, you ordinary, narrow-minded people, you are afraid of anything that you cannot comprehend. You call me a monster, because what you find impossible to face is just the slightest fraction of my genius. Well, if shit. by monster you mean someone who is nothing like you, <laughs> then it is a compliment. Oh, shit. What do you need? Very little. Just something to write with. You see my brain. Races like an engine with too many thoughts. I see them crackle and explode into thousands of formulae right in front of me. What a torture not to be able to write them down. What a hell to see them vanish just as quickly as they appear to Probably me. Probably for the just best. Just bring me something that I can write with. Probably the best you That's can all. write. That seems an easy enough request to fulfill. But listen, I don't want a vulgar inkwell and a pigeon's feather. No, I need material fit for my talent. I want my ink pen. Bring it to me, and I will be happy to pass on to you a little of my knowledge of modern chemistry. Where is it? It was confiscated upon my arrival here. here. I suppose it might be in my locker, in the locker room. Oh. Leave me now, and don't come back without my ink pen. So, sounds like I'm breaking into the locker now. See you soon, Mr. Holmes. Alright, so, this whole, like, I thought Holmes worked with the law. I didn't realize that he just, like, said screw you to the law and did everything himself. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be breaking into the, um, I'm going to be breaking into the locker room in a short time. That's probably why I needed to know where the alarm was. Let's see, what's that? The guards must spend long hours here. Holmes is talking, but he's not here. It is about the site. This information board is almost, almost empty. empty. Strange, in view of the activity in the prison. Alright, well. Time to go. 
breaking and enter. Closed. Um, it's gotta be a way to open it, right? Closed. Ah, there you are, Holmes. We must go to the the locker room. Yeah, this is this is the locker room. I just don't have anything to unlock the door with. Closed. God damn it. Alright, so let's Let me go talk to these security guides. Maybe. Just maybe I can get something off of these guys. I'm glad to have been of Can you tell me where I might find the locker room? In the corridor that leads to the director's office. That's where the prisoner's civilian stuff is held. But seeing the length of their sentences, they've little chance of ever getting it back. Can you open the locker room for us? We would like to inspect Shieldman's personal items. No, Mr. Holmes. I'm not responsible for that. You will find the keys in the secretary's office. Aha! See you later, Mr. Holmes. That's probably going to be the easiest set of keys to get. Let's go. Let us go. I wonder if there's more than one investigation out here? Or this is just the one large investigation. Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open that door. If you wait a moment, then I will inform him. We will wait, thank you. Oh my. He's gonna be like, no. Anything new, Mr. Holmes? Is your investigation advancing? Yep, we need Mr. to get Holmes. into your locker room. Have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast light upon a crucial point, and for that we require your help again. What can I do? We need to get to the locker and steal I mean look. Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. What do you mean? In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused, refused point, point blank, blank to open, open when he was incarcerated. We, did, we try. did try to force it, but without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, but they came to the conclusion that it was better that the case remain shut than tamper with it too much. Oh. I see. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man is an evil genius, a master poisoner, and that his poisons are never ordinary. ordinary. That's good to know. Very good Here's to know. Here's the key to the locker room. I give you just the like authorization. Just backpedaled into the line. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. Or had you forgotten? Oh my. <laughs> Dry your tears, miss. I'm certain that your father didn't mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. And when he finds out, he'll be furious. Oh? Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom, and I've lost the key. Oh. Your aunt. Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker. Um, I guess we could unlock her. You know, I have lockpick. I should have a lockpick, or at least something I can unlock her locker with. Closed. Bullshit. I have the key. Where's the key? Where's the key? There it is. I was like, I have it. I know I do. Okay, so let's see. Please don't. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't light up every locker in this room. Here is the locker of our friend Hans, the mad scientist. Oh, what a jumble! This solid box must hold, hold a, a precious, precious object. object. 
to see. There's going to be another puzzle on here. Oh, great. Uh, as soon as the catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from the mouth to mouth was blown, and the cry rang out all over the town. Good heavens, the Tay Bridge is blown down. And passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled all the people's hearts with sorrow, and made them for to turn pale because none of the passengers were saved to tell the tale how the I don't know happened on the last Sabbath day of 1879 which will be remembered for a very long time a poem in Hans's handwriting that's interesting a poem yep I know I see that okay place down um No, I can't do Nothing of interest. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. So I need to... Something I gotta do here. I'm going to assume... Oh, this no. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, I'm gonna assume that you gotta go down the side here. A poem. Alright, so A S T H A N A poet G O A S T H Um 